Okay, back once again. Um, so I just want to talk to you a little bit about setting up VST support and using Ableton, incorporating Ableton with VCV Rack. So um, on the website, there's a bit of info, which is about setting up your bridge in DAW. If you're doing this at home on your laptop or in your own time, you'll need to install basically a VST plugin uh, compatible thing called the VST bridge and you install that just like you would a normal audio unit or VST and then it allows you to use VSV and Ableton Live. So going into your plugins, once you've installed it, um, you can just drag the v VCV bridge across and drop it onto a channel. I've got a channel with a little bit of uh, music set up there, just a MIDI part and you can use this as an effect as well if you wanted to bring um, VCV in as just an effect unit and not a sound source. So this is just standard MIDI channel. Um, the first points of call that you need to do is just make sure that your keyboard and all that normal sort of stuff is all set up so you're getting MIDI. At the moment it's actually playing um, VCV rack in here where I'd set up that basic keyboard patch before just using MIDI straight in using my MK, MPK MIDI, but I don't want to do that. I want to use Ableton's MIDI to trigger. So there's a couple of ways, different ways of doing it. Um, in the settings in here, you have a bunch of different MIDI modules and you've got a MIDI 1 and MIDI 4. You can do some CCs. Uh, the MIDI 4 is useful because you can bring it in from Ableton and then split it off into four different channels, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I'm just going to show just the single MIDI device first. So first point of call is up the top where you've been setting your sound cards or your MIDI controller inputs. There's your sound card over there. You now um, use bridge instead of the core MIDI or core audio that you normally use on your machines. So if you go and select bridge at the top and if you do that also for audio then it's kind of making that connection uh, under the hood so to speak. So now it's not going to take my keyboard input so I'm punching that away, nothing's happening. Um, and if I go back to Ableton Live and I've loaded that plugin onto the channel, onto the MIDI channel, my channel is record activated. So now in theory, if I come back into VCV, I should be able to route this. If you span the plugin, you'll see that there's a whole different bunch of ports that you can send various CC across. So by clicking on the device part and clicking port one, you can now see that Ableton Live is the MIDI input source, but then it's being routed over into um, VCV. Cool. So now I just want to route the audio back so that I can play or record or incorporate some stuff in Ableton. So by setting the port one on the audio output bridge and going back to Ableton, there you go. Now we have audio. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to route your audio um, into another channel and then record your audio if you wanted to dump that stuff in there and resample, etc. Simple as that. Lovely.